that he was not sharing with local government. Dr. Dart wasn't able to attend the meeting with Dr. Burks, although you asked for it. Uh, there was a leak yesterday in the fall from Dr. Burks saying that Oklahoma is one of the states he's most concerned about, hmm. which wasn't really the message we got from the governor or the folks who attended your part of the meeting. Mm -hmm. Well, Dr. Burks did reference in the meeting we had that uh, that apparently they do a regular report to governors and state health directors. I think the one that was leaked to the media was just one of, if I remember correctly, eight that she said they've issued at this point. Um, and that's all data that, of course, we would like to know if there's uh, uh, information being shared about Tulsa. Uh, in Tulsa, we would certainly want to know about it, uh, that the governor... Uh, when he was here last week, seemed surprised that it hadn't been shared with us, but it, it still has not. It was news to me that there have been eight different reports. I only knew about the one that was leaked to the media. Well, well I guess, I mean, how would you characterize the relationship that you have with Governor Buckle when it comes to addressing the pandemic? Um, you know, I, I really feel like that the governor is setting a baseline statewide and is deferring to local communities to take action based on what we see beyond that. And to be fair to him, he has to set standards that apply to somebody who lives in an apartment building here in Tulsa and to somebody who lives by themselves on a 500 acre ranch in the Panhandle. And so I understand the challenge of that, but the, the real day to day uh, discussions that, that we have as far as understanding data on the ground here are with the team at the Tulsa Health Department and with our local health care systems. And that's much more specific to Tulsa uh, and I think helps us make better decisions relative to Tulsa. And then, of course, we're always in communication uh, with the city of Oklahoma City as well because uh, they're similar to us with similar population density facing similar issues in a, in a similar part of the country. Um, but beyond that, uh, you know, I, I think the state has been very helpful in providing funding to us for things that we've needed. Their funding of the surge facility here in Tulsa has been crucial. The funding last week uh, to help us with internet access for kids has been very important. They got the coronavirus relief stuff kind of off high center, and now the county has been incredibly helpful, as Commissioner Keith mentioned, with our downtown coordinating council funding, uh, with the health department's uh, communications funding. Um, so is there, to your point, is there a frustration that there's information out there about Tulsa that we're finding out by accident? Yes. Um, and my hope is that we would get that, act, that information more readily in the future.